For the purpose of explaining how to use this feature, we have analyzed a simple chess game application written in Java where we can see there is a lot of room for improvement in terms of the key one indicators. Audio. Now let's see the found defects in detail. We have 554 defects, but looking closer, we find that 29 of those defects come because we're instantiating objects in loop bodies, which is not a recommended thing to do. In this case in particular, given the nature of the application, we believe it's okay to do it. We need to mute these defects for this application. We open the mute defects functionality from the defects menu on the top of the page. A muted defects box pops up in the page. We now just drag and drop the defects to mute from the list to the box. We can document the reason why we're muting the defect, including a comment for fellow developers, and we can move on. We can not only do this at rule level, we may want to mute defects at the file level and even at the line of code level. Let's see. The next defect is about not allowing the use of runtime and system classes. Let's open it. In the match.java file, we see the defect comes from using system get property, and we decide that it's okay for that file. So we drag and drop the file in the box to mute it. Now, in the board.java file, all the defects come from using the print or print line methods, except for the first one that uses the flash method. We decide it is okay to use it in this case, so we drag and drop the line of code in the box to mute this one too. Once I've muted and documented all the defects that should not affect this application, we click the Recalculate and Save button at the top of the page, and Key1 will recalculate the indicators for this analysis on the fly, not taking into account the defects we just muted, and saves this configuration for any subsequent analysis. But we realize that muting the use of the SystemOutFloss method does not make any sense if we're not muting the other SystemOut methods. So we just clicked garbage can on that muted defect to unmute it and recalculate and save again. You can see that all muted defects still appear in the list, but they are grayed out and with this little icon on the left. If we go back to the summary for this application, we can see that same little icon telling us that the indicators were calculated taking into account a number of muted defects. We have learned how to mute some defects for a specific application when it makes sense and it's important for you. It is a great way, for example, to manage false positive results. Thank you and have fun analyzing.